Hello and welcome back to my 30 videos in 30 day series. Today I'm going to talk about spray foam insulation, school and work. Please stick around. I am a high school auto shop instructor, which gives me summers off. During the summers, I install spray foam insulation. I do this anywhere from one to three days a week. It's hard work. It's way harder work than it looks like. I think it's only hard work because it's hot work. When the foam comes out at the end of the gun, it's coming out at about, I believe, 130 degrees. When it reacts on the wall, it creates heat again. So when you're working doing spray foam insulation, you have this couple hundred degree wall that's just radiating heat back onto you. So as you're working, it is hot. Today's job was easy. Today's job was in a barn. Last week I found myself in an attic, and it was an attic of a 1954 house. So the peak, the, the tallest point of the attic was, you could crawl through, and that was about it. The rest of the attic, you were really, you know, you were from joist to joist, almost on your stomach. It's, it's not a lot of fun, but it pays really well. And I think that's really where it comes down to. Money is why I go to work. And if a job pays really well and is relatively safe and really pretty good on the body, I mean, it's hard work, but it's not, there's no one part of my body that's really taken an abuse. I was an auto technician for 22 years. My hands, my wrists, they took a lot of abuse. By the end of my technician career, I was sleeping with braces on my wrists so I wouldn't wake up every half hour with my hands asleep. Now that I've been a teacher for three years, my, my hands, my wrists are, they're back to the way they're supposed to be. What's better, to use your brain or to use your muscles? Days like today, I come home from spray foaming. According to my Fitbit, my heart rate was over 100 beats per minute. It was between 100 and 122 beats a minute for just under five hours today. When you have that spray foam, when you have that heat, it, it brings up your heart rate. Pulling around that hose, that it doesn't look hard, but that hose is heavy. You're pulling that hose with your left hand the whole time. You're holding onto that gun and spraying with your right hand the whole time. Mentally, it's 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 unbelievably easy. I don't. I'm sitting there in my brain. I'm able to do other stuff. When I go to work as a school teacher, I'm 100% mentally a school teacher. That's where my brain is. It's what's going on this hour, what's going on next hour, and there's just so much going on that my brain doesn't get to sit down and relax. My body, my body's just kind of there, but my brain does not get to relax. I go and I spray foam, and I can think about the next video I'm going to make. I can think about so many different things as I'm watching foam expand in front of me. I'm doing that while I'm sweating my balls off, though. I don't know which one's better. Honestly, they pay almost identical. The pay per hour to be a teacher and the pay per hour to be a spray foam insulation is almost identical. I come home physically exhausted or mentally exhausted. I don't know what is better. Glad I get to change it up. Glad I get to spray foam in the summer and teach in the winter. But when it comes to work, work is work. Do you mentally go to work? Do you physically go to work? Something to think about. Something to think about with my students. Would you rather get physically exhausted at work and come home mentally fresh? Would you rather go to work and be mentally exhausted and come home physically fresh? Just something I've been thinking about a lot today while I was not doing anything but spraying foam. I'd like to know what you think. I'd like your opinion. Do you want a job that's mentally exhausting? Do you want a job that's physically exhausting? Do you want a job that isn't either? I've always thought that'd be kind of nice too. Imagine going to a job where you don't have to physically or mentally be exhausted. Unfortunately, I haven't found one of those that pay very well yet. I think age really comes into it too. When I was young, I wanted to go to work and physically be exhausted. I wanted to go to work and work hard. As an auto technician, the harder you work, the more money you make. The faster you work, the more money you make. So I could go to work and work hard. As I was reaching 40, my hands and my wrists were wearing out. As, as my hands and wrists wore out, I couldn't make as much money as a technician. I couldn't work quite as hard. I was thinking, I'm 25 years away from being retired. I've been a tech for 22 years. I was in that midpoint of my career. Do you make a switch? And I did. I'm really glad I made a switch. I really enjoy teaching. I like the mental exhaustion. I like to be mentally exhausted when I get home. Don't think I would have liked it when I was in my 20s. When I was in my 20s, I, wanted, I had that physical, oh, let's just go, let's make some money. Let's work hard. Now I'm like, ah, let's, let's use, let my brain make my money for me. My body can take a break. When I come home, as a teacher, I spend more time in my shop. 
as a technician, I didn't spend as much time out here. There's, after working eight, nine hours in a 90 degree shop over a 200 degree engine, as soon as you hit that air conditioned house, the last thing you want to do is go back out into a garage. What rewards are there other than monetary rewards that you really want to get out of a job? I put a lot of weight on when I started teaching and I've started taking that weight off now and I know that if I was spray foaming year round, just like when I was a technician year round, the easier it was to keep weight off. There's rewards to being physical that over and above the monetary, but other than that there's not much rewarding about spraying foam. I go, I spray foam, I go home. Teaching, teaching is very rewarding. I love teaching. Teaching is very rewarding. I come home, my heart, I, I really feel good about what I do. I feel good about, you can't spend all day around these young, bright minds and seeing their, they're seeing this fresh world in front of them. And it, it is so, it is rewarding in a way that I could never get out of spray foam. So other than the monetary reward of, you know, which job is going to make sure you pay the bills. Because, you know, having a roof over your head, having my shop here, this, this is great. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to live out of my car. There's, there's something about the monetary reward. It does give you a, it does give you something. But there's really something about that mental rewards that I get out of teaching that I would never get out of spray foam. And I think there's something about being around the young minds, seeing that forward thinking, the whole, the, the future is theirs. And... I've been rambling for a while here now. I should probably uh, should probably wrap this up. I'd love it if you left responses in the comments. Let's make this a discussion. Do you want to go to work physically? Do you want to go to work mentally? If I went to work and I had an easy job that wasn't physically or mentally taxing, I don't know if that'd be very rewarding. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace.